Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to update the WhatsApp and the new WhatsApp update for 2024. First of all, let's launch the App Store. Let's look for WhatsApp. And then when you find WhatsApp, you will have the updated version. Let's click on update and let's see how the hell we'll actually proceed with this. What are the new features I had? A lot of people talking about new features let's see how it goes first of all the update tab it's now home page find the channels so the updates currently is doing this updates on what you care about keep up with people organizations in the matter of all times find and explore channels channels are public so anyone can find them and see what are they sharing added privacy agree and continue so as you can see guys over here we're having channels and we're having a lot of sports channels that are pushed as you can see over here the first recommendations that we're getting are coming from news channels such as daily mail uh, we're having a channels that is for major league baseball we're having a lot of celebrities, Chelsea soccer team. Again, we have a lot of news channels, the Wall Street Journal, the Forbes. Okay, let's say which are most active. As usual, we saw that the ones or part of the ones that were recommended are the ones that are most active. We have Paris Saint-Germain, again, sports team. We have USM, Newsweek. Yeah, I, as you can see, I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section. Do you see the same information recommended to you? As you can see, the popular ones currently are, of course, Real Madrid, Netflix, and some other celebrities over here. But majority of the things that we're seeing over here are simply celebrities and sports. Again, we have something new. Over here, we have some new channels that have been created. Uh, very, very interesting. If we simply go and try to load some of them, right? It's kind of... Uh, group chats where i don't know they probably present certain information or whatsoever very interesting that you can actually change the country and you can find information related from your country if you're out of the us so it's very interesting you can actually type over here and change the country and probably gonna get all the news channels and all the celebrities that are in your country that are popular trending so on and so forth uh, i don't really see any major updates over here guys if you got some better updates please let me know but so far uh, that's all i can see now to start using midjourney you're going to click on join the beta where they're going to make you join a discord server okay midjourney only works on discord so they're going to give you a discord server where you can go ahead and make things like these look at this art it's absolutely out of this world isn't it so what you're going to do is you're going to add prompts for yourself in Midjourney. Okay, so look at these prompts. Now, to make this, what you're going to do, again, Discord, you're going to continue to your Discord where you're going to accept the invite. And uh, once you do that, you're going to run up your Discord. Now, I'm already in the Midjourney server, so let me show you how it works. So once you run up Midjourney, as you can see, it loads you in. So make roles and stuff. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your Midjourney server. Now, Midjourney server is going to be right here. It's going to look somewhat like that. Over here, you're going to go to any room, okay? Now, generally, you should go in the general room. So, let's say I'm going to go to general 9, okay? So, there's tons and tons of room. Now, to generate something, you're going to write slash imagine, and then it's going to give you a prompt, okay? And it was created for sales and CRM and just to make your CRM and sales better, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be quickly talking to you about what Jasper AI chat does for you and how it's better. So AI chat that feels surprisingly human. You can interact with artificial intelligence that uh, will help you a lot. Okay. And it feels like you're actually talking to a live support member. It's an actual person, an expansive base of knowledge on niche and advanced topic, a familiar design that's accessible and easy to use and remembers what you said earlier by giving it a better context. You can start a chat with Jasper by asking a question or stating a command. And obviously, you're going to want to make an account with Jasper for this. It's uh, It gives you a trial. It's going to ask you your credit card and stuff. But after that, look at that. You can use it immediately. And Jasper AI is an amazing AI chatbot tool. It's a good alternative to stuff like ChatGPT and uh, to things like, um, you know, any other chatbots out there. 
an even better uh, alternative to this is Bing Chat because that's totally free. But, you know, you can just use Jasper AI as itself because it was specifically created for marketing. Now, you can actually take Jasper's work and import it to your Jasper documents. And as you can see, uh, you can see the similarities between a Jasper and ChatGPT Plus is you're going to come to Google and you're going to write Google Bard. And it's going to bring you to bard.google.com. And that is exactly what we're going to want to go to. So we're going to go to Bard. It says chat based AI tool. Now, once you go to Bard, it's going to bring you right here into Bard experimenting. And, uh, you know, as you can see, Bard was just updated. Now you can ask anything of Bard. You can create anything of Bard. Let's say you want to create a social post. So outline my social media post from my network from my summer internship. Let's say you want to add that in. So you're going to click on that. And obviously, it's going to generate a whole post for you, which is pretty incredible, right? Then moving on, you can also add in images. And uh, so look at this over here. You're, it's going to create a whole outline for you with a headline, body, call to action, additional tips. And then look at this. It gives you the whole body to work with. You can also ask a coding uh, question. So you can write, write me a random code in C++. Plus, plus. Okay, you can ask it to do that. And once you ask it to do that, it's even going to do that for you. So this is basically how you're going to be using Bard. And look at that, it's going to write me an actual code in C++ that I can add into my program. And it's obviously going to work pretty incredibly. So it says here's another C++ code that creates a simple guessing game with a twist. This is, you know, a random point combining creativity and randomness. So pretty incredible. Uh, you're going to click on generate and obviously, as you can see, it was empty, but now it has a cheetah over there and uh, you can also add anything you want. So basically, you're going to open up your Photoshop and you're going to go to any picture you have. Let's say we have this picture. You're going to go to the selection tool and then just select a part of your photo. It says use any selection tool to select an object or area in your image and select the generate a fill button in the contextual taskbar. Write a prompt describing the object or scene you want to generate in the text entry prompt box or leave it blank and Photoshop will fill in the selection based on the surroundings. And then finally, click generate. And obviously, you're going to get to see the whole thing. And it turns it into something cool pretty fast. So that's why I like this a lot. And you should use this for yourself as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all a few next time. Goodbye. Music AI voice change your real time. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use this music AI voice changer in the real time in the easiest way. So this voice changer that we have is called voice dash swap AI. Okay. And you can simply write music AI voice changer over here and you can get this in the top. Obviously we have voice mod as well, which is one of the most famous ones when it comes to discard, but obviously we're going to use voice swap because voice swap was only made for, you know, musicians. Now, basically you can uh, try it pretty simply. Obviously it has its pricings and all that you are going to need to go ahead with. So you're going to sign up with uh, your emails and all. Now, once you sign in, it takes you to the verification sections. It takes you to the mailing sections. So just go ahead and verify yourself. And once you verify yourself, it takes you into the obvious in-depth workings and analysis of how this software is supposed to work with you. So this is how it's going to look. Um, you know, you have all these uh, artists that you can work with. Now you're going to click on any artist to get started. You have session artists as well. These are obviously AI. So I'm going to go ahead with this person over here, Chuck Roberts. And once you go over here, you're just going to choose. You say Chuck Roberts is one of the house music's most iconic notes. I wait it all day. I stay up all night. By the phone way. So you can see that this person's voice is AI and it's pretty good. So you can write any type of text you want to or drag or upload your own mic audio and they will obviously convert it so that is how you can do real-time voice switching in the easiest way so thank you for watching and i'll see all of you next time goodbye canva ai image generator 2024 full guide hello everyone welcome back to another video i hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day I bring you back with yet another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about canva's new ai image generator how we're going to use it and how we can integrate it into new recurring different designs okay so to start things off what we're going to be doing is first of all we're going to come over to canva.com so i'm going to be showing you how you can you know generate images using ai and then how you can implement it into actual designs okay 
So to start things off, what we are going to do is we're going to come over here to apps. Now, once you go to apps from here, what's going to happen is you're going to come down here and you're going to click on AI powered. Now, once you click on AI powered, you get tons and tons of generators. You get Dolly, you get Imagine and all of these different types of things. Now, the best ones are Magic Media and Dolly. So it depends on whichever you want to use. I would suggest going with the Magic Media because obviously that's Canva's very own Magic AI generator. But I'm also going to use Dolly just to give you an idea on how both of these work. OK, so to start things off, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to open this up. OK, and I'm going to open this up in a new design. I'm going to open up a new design and uh, let's give it some Instagram post radiates. So once we do that, I'm going to come to Magic Media as well, just to, you know, get a basic idea on a new design. So again, I'm going to come here, Instagram post. So here we have two Magic AI image generators, Dolly and, uh, you know, Magic Media. So they both work very you know, similarly, all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put in a prompt. Now, when it comes to magic media, you can use images and you can create videos. It uses runway to create videos. It's experimental right now. And you have five credits. OK, even in this, you have 50 credits. So basically, after using these 50 credits on photos and five credits on videos, you're going to have to, you know, buy Canva Pro without that, you won't be able to use it. Dolly, on the other hand, only gives you three credits. After that, you have to buy Canva Pro, and uh, that is how you're going to be using Dolly. So I'm going to be using these credits for you guys today and, you know, showing you the full capability of the stuff. So first of all, you have styles and aspect ratio. You know, which aspect ratio do you want this in? I'm going to keep it in square so it fits well. And then we have styles. So you have photography styles. You have digital art styles. And then you have fine art styles. So let's first of all go with this. I'm going to go with some vibrant styling and from vibrant styling, it says describe the image that you want and we will generate it for you. You can also, by the way, try an example where it tells you this stuff, the dim lit room with people eating at a table 18th century. But I'm going to you know, take that off and I'm going to write my own prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and write five people standing on a hill camera and at their backs and uh, obviously we're five people standing on a hill camera panned at their backs and uh, obviously we're going to go ahead and add landscape retro sunny city life in front of them Cadillac beside them okay so that's a very hefty, you know, prompt. So let's go ahead and generate that. Let's see what it gives us. And, um, you know, uh, let's see where it takes us from. So we're just going to wait for it to generate and I'm going to bring it back to you. So as you can see on the left hand side, now you have your prompts generated. So you have four prompts, this, this, this and this. Now you can see the vibrant vibe from it. It looks pretty cool, right? So. I'm going to bring this one over here just to see how it looks and look at that. And now if we increase its size, that's the best part about creating an image through AI. You never lose its quality as like even if you make it big. So look at that city in the bag. It seems retro uh, gives a vibrant vibe. Now, obviously, the faces of the people aren't the greatest. Now, the reason for that is, uh, you know, because AI, AI doesn't really capture a real life person's face very well. But yeah, you get the main vibe of it. And you get four variants of it. Plus, you can also change its style from, you know, the style section. So let's say I want it to be neon and I want to I'm going to click on generate it again. So let's say you're trying to make a collage. OK, so just uh, going to keep it like this and I'm just going to increase its size a bit. There we go. So now you can pretty easily create a collage with the other pictures as well. So look at that started creating these retro images. So I'm going to add this one over here and look at how cool that looks. You know, like this is the type of stuff that Canva is good at creating. So I'm just going to match it over here and look at that. So now we have a very retro and cool vibe going on. Then let's go with the um, 
Let's go with some concept art. And while we're at this, let's also go ahead and discuss Dolly. Okay. So in Dolly, you do the same thing, but in this, there's no style. You're just going to enter your prompt and they're going to give it to you. So, you know, let's go ahead and write retro image of. So I'm going to write retro image of a metal band performing at Woodstock. You know, Woodstock is uh, this performance venue. So I'm just going to go ahead and generate this. All that is being generated. Look at that. So now it's created a concept art and that looks really nice. It looks really cool. I'm just going to add it to my design, make it smaller. There we go. And uh, obviously you're just going to wait for the quality to settle in. Uh, it takes a few seconds to load in and there we go. Now the quality settled in. And finally, what we're going to do is let's change it to filmic as well. Well, let's say I want a filmic font. And while that is going on, look at this. Dolly has created this for us. Now, Dolly basically gives you the most realistic pictures, in my opinion, like after mid journey and stable diffusion, obviously. Dolly will give you very realistic pictures. So look at this. It actually looks like a band poster. Again, the faces don't go on them because, you know, it's AI. AI is not the greatest at faces, but you get the retro vibe. And this is actually Woodstock. Woodstock stage did look like this. It's a metal band performing and, you know, pretty cool stuff. And finally, we're over here. We get the filmic vibe. So I'm going to take this and add it right here. Make it smaller. There we go. And uh, yeah, there we are. So you can see we made this four picture collage through AI. You know, we made it through magic AI. We made it through the magic pictures that we just used. And I'm simply going to go ahead and download this. And then you have this as well. And you're going to see that the image quality of these is absolutely out of this world. So yeah, that is how you're going to be using the image AI in Canva. So I hope that was, uh, you know, fun to watch for you. If it was, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye. Free text to video AI generator. Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can convert your text to video in the easiest and most simplest ways possible. So to start things off, what you are going to be doing is you're going to come over to nvidia.io and you're going to go to NVIDIA AI. And once you're in NVIDIA AI, you're going to go AI text to video. And here you can see you can turn text to video right now. No credit card required. It's totally free. You're just going to need to sign up with their platform. OK, and you're going to write any text in the prompt box that they give you. And once you write that text, they're going to give you that video. Obviously, it might not be the greatest. But it is pretty acceptable. It looks pretty nice. And it's pretty dope that you're going to get this totally for free. So convert text to video with AI. Easiest way to turn text to video with AI is here. Create videos for YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok with simple text prompts for yourself. Yeah, and that's pretty much about it. In video IO, check it out right now and start creating. So thank you for watching and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Mid Journey Tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Mid Journey and how you can use this absolutely incredible application called Mid Journey. Okay, it's totally AI related. And to start using this, first of all, I'm gonna show you the showcase where you know people have actually shown what they make using Mid Journey. And Mid Journey is obviously pretty independent. Now to start using Mid Journey, you're gonna click on join the beta where they're gonna make you join a Discord server. Okay, Mid Journey only works on Discord. So they're going to give you a Discord server where you can go ahead and make things like these. Look at this art. It's absolutely out of this world, isn't it? So what you're going to do is you're going to add prompts for yourself in mid journey. OK, so look at these prompts. Now, to make this, what you're going to do again, Discord, you're going to continue to your Discord where you're going to accept the invite. And uh, once you do that, you're going to run up your Discord. Now, I'm already in the mid journey server, so let me show you how it works. So once you run up mid journey, as you can see, it loads you in. So make roles and stuff. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your mid journey server. Now, mid journey server is going to be right here. It's going to look somewhat like that over here. You're going to go to any room. OK, now, generally, you should go in the general room. So let's say I'm going to go to general nine. OK, so there's tons and tons of room now to generate something. You're going to write slash imagine and then it's going to give you a prompt. Okay. So in this prompt, you're going to write whatever, like, uh, you know, red 
color in the sky, etc., or something like that. And that is how you can use Mid Journey. So thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye. Jasper AI tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be quickly walking you through Jasper AI. So Jasper AI is a co-pilot for different marketing teams. Now Jasper was created for all these marketing platforms, okay? And it was created for sales and CRM and just to make your CRM and sales better, okay? So in this video, I'm going to be quickly talking to you about what Jasper AI chat does for you and how it's better. So AI chat that feels surprisingly human. You can interact with artificial intelligence that uh, will help you a lot, okay? And it feels like you're actually talking to a live support member. It's an actual person. An expansive base of knowledge on niche and advanced topic. A familiar design that's accessible and easy to use and re remembers what you said earlier by giving it a better context. You can start a chat with Jasper by asking a question or stating a command. And obviously you're gonna wanna make an account with Jasper for this. It's uh, It gives you a trial. It's gonna ask you your credit card and stuff. But after that, look at that you can use it immediately. And Jasper AI is an amazing AI chatbot tool. It's a good alternative to stuff like ChatGPT and uh, to things like, um, you know, any other chatbots out there. An even better uh, alternative to this is Bing Chat because that's totally free. But, you know, you can just use Jasper AI as, as itself because it was specifically created for marketing. Now, you can actually take Jasper's work and import it to your Jasper documents. And as you can see, uh, you can see the similarities between a Jasper and ChatGPT Plus. So, you know, definitely use Jasper AI, sign up and start using it right now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all of you next time. Goodbye. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a Copilot AI from Microsoft. In this particular example, guys, we're going to use a uh, very, very balanced over here on the settings, creative mode that will help us to start a business. In the first example that we're going to go over here, guys, we're going to ask what products are good to start an e-commerce business in 2024 based on Google Trends. Let's see. In the previous video, guys, we used Bart AI to start a dropshipping store. Uh, we we got amazing results. We got Google Trends, all the top search products around Christmas. We got amazing. You definitely want to go out on the channel and find this video as well. Let's see how the Copilot will perform in comparison with. So what we're having over here, let's see. That's a great question. E-commerce, the, the, the dynamic competitive, blah, blah, blah. Sustainable products, consumers are becoming more. That's not what I'm looking for. Give me exact products. You see, that's that's not good. How about stop? We need to stop replying. Okay. Sustainable products, personalized products, smart products. That's not what I'm looking. How about based on search volume? What are the most searched products recently on Bing search. It didn't answer us for Google search. I think we all know why, but they cannot skip the, the, the question for Bing search. Let's see. Based on the web search results, same, same thing. Oh my gosh, this is very bad, guys. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like I cannot recommend you because they simply cannot help us. Can you even give us a practical information aside from generic sustainable 
products examples let's see keep giving us this same 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 tech i'm sorry if you're not satisfied with previous answer i was trying to give you uh, some trending categories of products that da, 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 da. if you want to check where do you sending me so if you want more practical information you can check out some of the resources that i found from my tool for example so guys if you pay very close attention if you watch other videos we we did uh, case studies bing is very strong of giving you sources it's giving you links to the website it's not strong of building its own conclusions which i don't know if if we click on this for example they give us a practical e-commerce which provides news tips guidance and examples of online e-commerce if you click on this one why why would i click on this one charts of 2024 outlook of global ceos january 24 oh, it looks like some blog post or something also they gave us uh, how to start a business from scratch guide from shopify another useful resource guide to comma crazy egg so guys i cannot recommend you using a copilot for starting a business or any uh you know real life advice or real life navigation or tutorial how to do something obviously uh so far i can tell you that bart ai is the winner uh, it beat chat gpt chat gpt has outdated information and very confusing generic uh you know, propositions and and answers so if you really want to uh, look to find we created a, a shopify business using bart ai go out and find the video for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in today's video we're going to have access to bart ai and we're going to ask bart ai how to make money in 2024 online judging by simply him having the best google search results best content put it out there generated from google search and all the social medias combined this is the series number four guys and in series number one we went to personal finance series number two we went to how you could save money in series number three we went through how you can get out of debt and this is series number four in which we're going to focus on how to make money online in 2024 so far we've been getting a lot of amazing strategies throughout the whole financial journey let's see what is based on google trends over here guys how and where you should approach this year okay according to bart ai 2024 has a lot of opportunities for online money making skills let's focus on details number one is freelancing Essentially, over here, they try to send you to create your side hustle gigs on Upwork, Fiverr, and Freelancer. This include writing, editing, graphic design, web development, programming, marketing. Okay. But I want something more specific. Let's ask what about using AI to make money online in 2024? let's see something more upgraded guys let's use the the vast capacity of bart ai okay the idea number one is ai powered content creation generate blog posts articles and even scripts with ai writing tools like jasper or shortly ai essentially over here guys they are suggesting you that you should start your own blog and you should start posting blogs the second suggestion is to create uh, engaging social media content with AI powered tools like Canva or Lumen5. Essentially, they will offer you or they will create you templates, uh, images or music suggestions where you can actually uh, sell to your audience or simply use to generate followers. The third one will be to develop personalized learning materials as ebooks using the AI. Tools like Shortly AI can help you tailor content for a specific audience and learning styles. This is very good. I, guys, you should definitely check out this. I personally going to check out this after I finish this video. 
Second suggestion in chapter 2 will be AI driven product development, design and sell unique products using AI tools such as Midjourney. I'm using this. Uh, this platform allows you to generate custom artwork, clothing patterns. A very important note over here guys, you want to make sure you have the rights to use the, the designs on materials. Some of these platforms uh, still keep the rights or you have to pay for a special additional license, okay? Personalized products on demand with AI, use AI generated custom images, engraving, okay, this is a good idea. Uh, or messages or physical products like mugs, cans, print on demand, so on and so forth. The suggestion number three, AI powered marketing and sales. Target your ideas, uh, ideal customers with laser precision using tools like Google Ads. You can run ad campaigns, you can run Facebook ad campaigns, Google ad campaigns. You can start a, a marketing agency over here. This is what comes to my mind over here, guys. And you can simply create and schedule marketing campaigns and posts for other people. And they can simply opt in for like a weekly or monthly packages. You can run the whole marketing for like 100 companies a month. Chapter number four, AI assistant, investing and trading. We, I tried this one. We built the AI bot trading, didn't, didn't perform so well. According to them, gain valuable insights in financial markets with AI-powered investment platforms. Automate your trading decisions with AI-powered trading bots. I think the, the opportunity over here, guys, will be if you can use AI to provide like a real-time data and analysis, like a big data using AI. And last chapter over here is to offer AI-powered services. Become AI consultant to help businesses to integrate into AI. Yeah, this is again like a corporate software, like a, I would say Salesforce replaced by AI type of stuff. So guys, as we saw, we extract so much important information and save you a tons of time here for five minutes. You saw what is currently trending and where people are actually focusing and starting business on. This is why the power of AI, BART AI, it's very important. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a 10 free shorts out of a long form video. Very easy, very simple. We're going to use an AI app that will cut and do the, all the work for you, okay? Very easy guys, very simple. First thing, let's, let's find a video that we want to cut, right? Let's launch the YouTube. Let's say for example you're into politics, okay? <laughs> I know. Let's say... You want to get this video from yesterday's debate, right? And you want to cut this video into 10 small shorts. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to click on the three dots under the video and then we're going to click share. We're going to copy the link. Okay. Pay attention. This video, it's uh, around 10 minutes long. Okay. Now, after we copy the link, I want you to go on Google Chrome and I want you to find this app over here. It's called Opus pro okay it's not opus ai i i see this many people making this mistake coming on opus ai it's opus pro okay you want to click on opus pro and this is where you're going to sign up for free and you're going to paste the link that we just copied okay the main point over here is that they will generate 10 short videos and they're going to send you an email when the videos are ready you don't have to stay on this page at all so just paste the link click get clips over here and they're going to send you 10 shorts the shorts will look like this with uh, captions uh, you can select the styles and the post each post will be coming with ranking ranked from 1 to 10 with the highest chance of getting viral okay Number one will be the highest chance of the video getting viral. Number 10 will be the less likelihood. And they will be coming with small uh, description, right? So you can actually use it. It's very, very easy, guys. Again, it's free. You will have a certain amount of credits, okay? So after you run out of credits, then you can opt in for the uh, paid subscription and other version with unlimited credits. But essentially, this is how you start. Just uh, get your feet wet. See what works for you, what doesn't. 
and then move on. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.